next we'll jump into understanding what is a dictionary what is the dictionary um dictionary is also a collection in python so we'll explore what exactly dictionary is all about how to define a dictionary in python and uh, okay so what is a dictionary it's an ordered collection of values uh, in this case in the case of dictionary we store the values so it stores the values in uh, key value pair so in hadoop most of the cases right in hadoop uh, you must have heard about this the, the key value pair only they use it in the case of hadoop okay and uh, here in the case of um, dictionary the key value pair is used okay so so to define a dictionary you need to use a curly braces you need to use a curly braces and the, and also the dictionary is a, a unordered collection of data sorry there is a typo here unordered collection of unordered collection of values it is used to store values in key value pairs okay you have keys and values separately right so sorry you need to have the combination of keys and values the keys must be unique it must be unique and and the, you know the values can be uh, duplicated the values can be duplicated and it can be of any type okay it can be of any data type any type okay and the the key must be unique and it should be immutable what is immutable you, you are not supposed to be you will not be able to you know change it okay so the strings <clears throat> which means right you can use strings uh, even in this case you can use the uh, strings numbers tuples as dictionary keys okay it can keys can also be any type but it must be unique and it is immutable you cannot modify it okay and values can be duplicated it can be of any data type but dictionary should uh, consist of the key and value pair the key and value pair should be separated by colon so each element in dictionary consists of key and value pair dictionary are enclosed in curly braces the key and values are separated by a colon a pair of entries are separated by colon correct the key must be unique that is what i mentioned and dictionaries are you know the dictionaries are mutable guys remember that only the keys are immutable okay the keys are immutable the dictionaries are mutable remember this i just jump into the this one local host um, python i believe all of you have installed uh, anaconda python isn't it i just uh, click on the new in python 3 this will open up the notebook a new notebook this is where we write our python script we'll first define a basic uh, the simple dictionary so to define a dictionary you need to uh, define it with the curly braces for example you have something like um, grades you have something like grades is equal to curly braces you need to use... list you have to define it with the square bracket tuples uh the parenthesis whereas in the case of dictionary to be defined by the curly braces okay in this case um let's say i'm going to say math string okay i'm going to use the key as i know string we can use anything math colon 90 marks comma you have something like a uh, science some marks so the what is the colon the colon is the one separates the keys from values okay the signs is the key values is 85 okay yes the keys can also be numeric value swarna okay english colon let's you know 100 we got 100 okay and i'm going to click on the run button so here i just say grades and i'm going to hit run yes so math colon 90 and science colon 85 english colon so the math the science and english are your keys and 90 85 100 are your values okay okay for the sake of um, you know the 85 i'm going to give 85 because the values can be duplicated right for that i just look at 85 85 the value can be duplicated 
but if you try to modify the you know the key it will not allow you to modify it will modify but it will um it will not have the duplicate there okay that is what i'm trying to say so next one is um okay our question is uh, can we define uh, the mixed key types oh what do you mean by mixed key types varna can you make it oh uh, the key itself right okay okay yes yes that is possible for example uh, mixed keys i just say here it's in a, you have something like 10 that is a key in this case the 10 is the numeric value right integer here the values the string and the next one is um, okay in, in this case the key is a string data type and you know i just say string and here can i use tuple yes let's you know uh, six comma two the, the the key can also be a tuple okay this is a tuple that's a good question from your side you may expect this kind of uh, questions in the online test as well okay invalid syntax somewhere 10 right so here it gives me the invalid syntax mixed keys see here i put the parenthesis open parenthesis it's not open parenthesis it should be curly braces the end of it also curly braces is not defined yes it's working fine correctly right so here how to define mixed e types So here, if you see the key is numeric value, integer, string, tuple also, you can use it as a key. And um, what are the other things? Okay, so can I create the nested dictionary? How to create a nested dictionary? That's another question. Like nested list, can I create that? Yes, that is also possible. Okay, nested dictionary. And in this case, uh, for example, people is equal to I just say um, Roch is the key. And then what I do is I'm going to create another thing here. I'm going to define about the Roch more. His age. What is his age? It's an age just um, colon 20 years. And uh, his occupation. Let's say he's an engineering student engineer okay and you know this one defines Roch's characteristics and the next one is um listen another person here mm, listen a ball okay this guy and here he is uh, okay here also i'm going to define the same thing okay let's use some other value so the Roch is the key and rest of them are values but the values are again uh, in the curly braces it's a dictionary so a dictionary inside another dictionary okay and now let us check um, you know in this case people now what this variable people is holding it so this is no longer a variable it is a dictionary type the dictionary people is holding raj and his age and occupation, Bob and his age and occupation. Both of them are in both their age are same. So this is an example for your nested dictionary. Okay. And is there any way can I create a dictionary from list? That's a good question. From um, the Pika, right? So uh, what I'll do is I just say keys is equivalent to. Okay, your question is uh, dictionary from list. Is that what you're asking, right? Case is equivalent to, for example, here's something called mango. And here, orange. These are the keys. It's a list, right? And here I just say cherry. The next one is the values. Values is equivalent to, uh, let's say this is 250 and uh, orange is, let's you know, this is, um, let's you know, $85, uh, comma, orange is, um, $80 and cherry is 
$150. Okay, and I'm going to, we have two list. And what I do is fruit um, uh, prices is equal to, we have a function called dict. Using dict, you can convert a list into Uh, you know, dictionary, okay? Keys, comma, values. Zip is a function using which you can combine these two things. The keys and values, you can combine it using zip. And then, uh, you know, once you combine this, okay, we want to see that, right? Okay, zip, uh, zips, okay, zip, keys, comma, <clears throat> values, print, zips, and uh, print, root prices. One second, one second, Swarna, I'll come back. <clears throat> yeah, this is a double S, right? Uh, okay, in this case, uh, the zips, right, uh, keys and values, behind the scene, it combines the, the, these two things. Uh, for example, if you want to see it again, right, so we will use uh, the list of list, will that work? Yes. So you can see that uh, mango and 85 and orange and 80 and cherry and each and everything gets mapped with the zip. Okay, that is what is happening. But if you use it, uh, the zip directly, it will, you cannot see the values. You need to use, you know, wrap this with the list. Okay. And now we can see that this is what is happening. Zip function, what it does, it takes each and every value and then it combines that with this one. Mango, comma, 85, orange, comma, 80, cherry, comma, 150. And finally, Right, so this is just for you to understand. I put this one. This step is not required, but if you wrap this with, if you wrap this with the dict, okay, so it will get converted as a dictionary automatically. Got it? Okay. So this is one thing. Uh, the next, what we'll do is we will see. We have something called dictionary comprehension dictionary comprehension like list comprehension how many of you remember list comprehension with the list comprehension you, you know we can reduce the number of lines of code it's pretty um pretty robust right <laughs> so for example you have the value something like um dict a you know something like um let's you know a colon one a is the key value is one and uh, B is the key, and uh, this is three, and um, C is colon six, okay? You want to retrieve, uh, you want to retrieve each and every key value pair. How can you do that? So for that, I'm going to use the dictionary uh, right, so curly braces, okay, inside the curly, which is nothing but we are going to define a dictionary. Here I'm going to say k colon, um, sorry, um, okay, here I just say values colon, so sorry, here we'll use uh, k colon, v, we can use it, for k comma v, in this case, K is key, key and V is value. Okay. See, this you need not use KV itself. You can use any other value also. But for our understanding, I've used K and V. Okay. And here, in original, sorry, in, in this case, um, dict A, right? So, dict A dot item. There is some function called items function. So, with items function, you can take each and every key value pair and then you can display it separately. Look here. So it picked up A colon 1, comma B colon 3. So this is called your dictionary comprehension. You can iterate your dictionary uh, using the dictionary comprehension. Like uh, the list comprehension, you can iterate this way also. Now the assignment is you wanted to swap the key and value pair. So instead of um, uh, key here, you need to put the value here, okay? So how can I do that? Simply how to swap key and values. So for now, this is what your question, right? Okay. In place of K, you put V here 
Only thing is you need to change it here. That's all. So V and uh, K. And if you execute this, so one became a key and A became a value here. But you can swap the key and values simply by changing the indices here. Okay. So this kind of an indices. Okay. But the items function is very much helpful. So with that, um, you know, in the case of dictionary, you can iterate and uh, retrieve each and every key value pair, you know, from your dictionary. Okay, if I wanted to add uh, two with uh, each value, how can I do that? Same thing, right? So you can, what you do is, uh, I just uh, come back here and okay, here, I just put key here, you know, key, uh, yeah, here the value plus two, okay, that's all. If you want to add a value, you know, to, you want to add two for each values, you can do it this way. In one go, you can do that. Okay, in only one line, you can do it everything. You can do the transformation. What is the transformation? You can add two, you can multiply this by two, the value, all right? As and when each and every key value pair retrieves, for each value, it adds two. Okay, the existing value becomes now one, two, three, and three become five, and six plus two is eight. That is what is happening here, okay? If you want to square the value, how can you do that? Oh, what do you want to square it here? Okay, for example, this is a question from uh, Deepika, okay? Square me, something like that. Here I'm going to say in the dictionary x colon x double star two for x in range function how many of you remember range if i give five what will zero to four will get generated and uh, for that zero to four right it will give it will square the values square me the key is um, you know the zero colon zero uh, one squared is one two squared is four three squared is nine look here in this case x colon i put so x anything before the colon is key and after the colon is value the same you know this are this another way of we can generate the uh, you know values you can square the values the keys we are not squaring it right we are not squaring the key but um, the the key remain, remains constant where the values are getting squared in this case this is interesting right yeah good that you asked this question okay how can i uh, can i use the text here uh, instead of using numeric values can i retrieve the values separate? that's a good question so give me some text for example text equal to um, bpk right so bpk our question is um so how can i uh, do the count of the characters in a string can i do it with uh, yeah we will give it a try. Even I need to try this one. Okay, I have not tried this one. Maybe I tried it long back. Uh, at least, you know, uh, the string, right? We'll say string colon. So string is the, okay, what I will do is um, I'll use char. Because in Python, we don't have uh, in anything like character data, right? Text to dot count. I think text, mm, it's not text to dot count. Yeah, text to dot count. Yes, dot count along with the uh, string you can use the count function okay account of uh, chr and here for each and every for chr in corin text to data right? and this is in dictionary key value pair okay so we want to display the count so here for each um, string you retrieve it, you consider that as a key here and you just count the, uh, you know, the character for that. Okay. And let me just execute this. So here, you know, the one, 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 right. So here, let's, you know, D, P, K, um, D, we'll put one more D here. Let's see what happens here. So look here, the D has two here. Text dot count, right? So what happens is it retrieves D from the first letter is D, right? 
it retrieves the D and then it comes here. The count function, what it does is it goes and checks the number of occurrences of T in this string. Number of occurrences of D is 2. Okay, and E is occurring two times. E is already there, right? Yeah, I did not notice that. Okay, so that's why, you know, yeah, so T2. So now you understand, right? This is, okay. Um, Okay, so now what I will do is, uh, can I uh, retrieve only the keys? Who asked this question? Uh, Sai Sudha. Okay, Sai Sudha, can I retrieve only the keys from this one? Okay, for example, car count is your dictionary type. Okay, for example, if when you use type, car count, character count, this is a dictionary, right? It's a dic dict type. Okay. Mm, your question is okay. This is car count. There is something like keys function is already available. If you give this, it will retrieve only the keys. Can you see that keys are the D, right? So D, E, and P, and I, and K, A, right? So sorry, this one, not the value, okay? Keys. You can retrieve. So similarly, you can retrieve the values also, okay? You have a values function that is available. So this is also possible, okay? Based on condition, can I, yeah, you can use if condition. You can use if condition, right? So for example, I'm going to use the same thing. Uh, if, uh, uh, let's see here, I don't know if this is going to work. Mm, this is okay, I'm going to try if, mm, Text dot count of uh, car is greater than two. Sorry, greater than one, right? So you in that case you display you can yeah correct. So those um, character we have more than one occurrence. Only that one you can take it. You can use the if condition. Okay, you can use the if condition followed by the for class. Okay, for for loop. Okay, for and then you need to use this one. This is how you can put it. You can use if also, okay? Any other uh, thing? Okay, your question is, uh, can I uh, add a value to a dictionary? One second, let me just check uh, how to add uh, any new key value pair to the existing one. Okay. For that, uh, you look here, you can delete a value using del, a specific uh, key, you can delete it. And you want to add it, right? So I think, um, you can add it this way, correct? For example, uh, we, we, we have something called fruit prices, one second, fruit prices. She wants to add another, you know, set of uh, key value pair, to the existing one. So in this case, what you do is uh, fruit prices. Here I'm going to uh, say something like, um, yeah, here itself you can specify the value. Okay, yeah. So here fruit prices, for example, peers. You want to add peers uh, is equivalent to $75. Okay, and fruit prices. So in this case, the square bracket, whatever you mentioned, that is your key and the right side of the equal sign is value. And this one will get included as part of your previous dictionary. Got it? Very interesting, isn't it? And is there any way can I uh, modify the mango by, you know, anything else? Okay. Okay, our question is, uh, can I modify the key? Try, okay, she gave me the command here. Mango, what did you mention? Mango. Oh, 105, right? You want to modify this value. See, here, uh, it is not going to modify it here. Deepika, it, will, it is not going to modify. When you try the same key, see, in this case, the peers key is not available in my existing dictionary. 
Hence, it got included. You know, the key value pair got included as a new pair, right? But since the mango is already there, it goes and check whether the mango is already there. If it is already there, it will overwrite this value. For example, it is not going to have the duplicate. So mango colon 85, mango colon 105, it will not have that. So it is simply going to overwrite this value. So the key, you cannot uh, modify it. Okay, so uh, right, so you cannot modify the key or you cannot have the duplicates. The, you know, you cannot have the duplicate keys. So when we put PR75, it is, since PR's uh, key is not there already, it included it here, right? But the mango is already there. It is not including it as a, you know, duplicate, right? It, it simply, you know, remove the previous one and or, you know, overwrite the existing one, okay? Is there any way can I add, um, let's know if I want to multiply two by each value, can I do that? Yes, that's what we have seen it, right? So now we have seen it already. So how do you do that? So you can use the key comma v for k comma v um, in the lesson of fruit prices dot um, items function. And then here, what it is k colon v into two, something like that, v into 10. That is what we have already seen it. So we can, okay, you can delete a specific value from this one. Uh, del fruit prices. You can delete a value. You cannot delete a value directly. Okay. For example, if I want to delete the peers. In the, so you want to delete 75. You cannot delete it. Instead, you will have to delete the key only. You can delete a value via the key. Using the key only, you can delete the value. So when you once you delete the key, the value, the associated value will also get deleted. And here the fruit uh, prices. Um, Look here, the PS got deleted, right? That key value for get it. So you cannot delete the value directly. You can list out the values separately and keys also you can separately, but if you want to delete, you can how to modify it. This is how you can modify it. You can directly specify. Look here, the mango equal to 105. Uh, the mango was already there, that key, uh, 75. Initially, it was having uh, 85. We replace the 85 by 105. You can modify it. Um, but you cannot, um, you know, uh, have the duplicate keys. The keys are unique. You cannot uh, change the key also. For example, um, yeah, you cannot change the key. Uh, how do we try that? Uh, for example, yeah, you cannot change the key. Okay, so you can change the value. You cannot change the key. If you try to change the key like this, the already existing one, it will overwrite the one. Okay, that's all. So how to include a new key value pair in an existing dictionary? How to delete a specific value? So we have used the del and uh, how to modify, we can use this one. Okay, remember that keys are unique. You cannot modify it. Like a, a list, you can also have a dictionary comprehension here. Okay, and uh, yeah, we are done uh, pretty much with the dictionary. Look here. Print peers in inventory. Yeah, if you want to find out the specific key, whether it's a true or not, existing, right? So is that a specific value? For example, you want to check um, mango in fruit prices, whether this key is there in my fruit prices or not. If you want to see that, true, it will return true or false. That is the one you can say. Um, yeah, update. You have something called update. Update is also same as your, uh, you know, equal sign, right? So, Baba colon 28, you can modify the value. And if you want to get a specific uh, value, get, you can use get. Specific keys value alone. Display. Specific uh, keys value. You can use a get function. Root prices. Get, um, for example, mango. It gives you that value, 105. And you have something like pop function. Pop will remove an item um, randomly, okay, randomly. Um, so pop item, sorry, pop item function will remove an item randomly from your dictionary. And the pop function, uh, if you specify a specific key, that 
key related key and value will get removed so it's something like del right so i will just give it a try same thing here so currently we will check what values are there in the equipment prices at, at this moment because we did a lot of changes so here i'm going to use the same thing here the equipment prices and here i'm going to do pop in this case you can delete a specific key value for for example if i specify cherry and what will happen 150 fruit uh, prices now the cherry uh, the the value for the cherry is 50 and the, the key value both of them got deleted you cannot delete a you know value alone right so i it's a kind of a pair if you delete one thing the if you delete the key well, if you want to delete a value, you need to delete the value via the key only. Okay. Fruit prices, you got it, pop. And the pop item, this is the one, will remove the item randomly from the rear side. Okay. For example, pop item. Here, you don't have to specify anything. Okay, and each and every time it goes and delete it randomly. From the rear side, I think it is doing it. So we are left with mango and orange after we did the pop. And um, Look here, the rear side, the orange got deleted. And if I do this, even this one got deleted. Now we have an empty dictionary. Okay, we have an empty dictionary. Fine, we are done. Uh, we have spent enough time with the dictionary. I think this is more than sufficient. And we'll share a couple of uh, questions related to uh, assignments with respect to all the topics so far I covered in Python probably in a day or two. Next one is the sets. What is it? With this, I'm going to wrap up. Don't worry. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Deepika, you are tired, right? So, okay. So, uh, I know that. Don't worry. Okay. We'll, we'll um, wrap up with this.